On the last part, you learned how to update the actor details. On this part, we are going to add the last functionality related to the actors. And that is the feature to be able to remove an actor from the database. So let us go to Visual Studio. The delete functionality is kind of similar to the update functionality because before you delete an actor from the database, you are going to ask the users for their consent. So the users will have to confirm if they are sure of deleting an actor from the database or not. In the actors controller, I'm going to copy the edit related code, so control C. And then in here, I'll actually update the get in here to be actors edit and then ID one. I'll paste the code in here. So now we're going to have actors delete and then one. Let us change this to be delete and the other one to be delete as well. The only parameter that we're going to need on the second action is just the ID. So the same as the first one, because to delete an actor from the database, we just need the actor ID. So up here, we are just checking if the actor exists. And if the actor does not exist, we are returning the not found view. And then we are just passing as a parameter the actor details. Now on the next part, we're going to add the not found because we have not added that view yet. On the second one, we're going to have an HTTP post request. I'm going to change the name in here from delete to delete confirmed because we cannot have two methods with the same name and the same parameter. But if you still want to use the delete name instead of the delete confirmed in the HTTP post, we can just define that the action name is going to be delete. So when you send a get request with the name delete, the first one will be called. But when you send a post request with the same name, then the second one will be called. So in here, we are going to check for the actor. So we are basically just checking if the actor exists or not. So var actor details is equal to. And then in here, we are going to have basically this functionality. So otherwise, we are going to return the not found. But if the actor exists, then we are going to use the await that underscore service dot delete and then pass as a parameter the ID. Now let us remove this part and then go to the I actors service. In here, change the void to be a task and delete will be delete async. Let us go to the actors service and then scroll up to the delete method. This is going to be async task delete. And here we are going to first get the actor. So we're going to get the actor and then we are going to have await underscore context dot actors dot remove. And then we are going to remove the result. And then down here, we're going to have the await context.save changes async. In here, we need to first rename the delete from delete to delete async. And you can also remove the await from here. And this is going to remove the actor from the database. So let us go back to the actors controller. And then in here, we have await service.delete async. And here we are passing as a parameter the ID. Now, if you want, since we already have in here the actor details, you can just pass the actor details as a parameter and then just change the parameter for the delete async. So this is all you need to do in the controllers part. Now, let us go to the solution explorer. And here I'll just copy paste the details view and change the details to be delete. Then open the delete view. And the H1 in here is going to be delete confirmation for, and then we are going to have the actor full name. And let us also change the title to be delete actor. Then down here where we have two buttons, we are going to send a post request. So we are going to wrap the 
edit button in this case, but we're going to update that button inside a form. So the form is going to be just a simple form with the action set to be delete. And the reason why we are using the delete in here is because we set in the actors controller the action name to be delete. But if you wouldn't have specified the action name, then the value in here needs to be delete confirmed. You can remove the method because by default it will be a post. So just remove that method. Then inside the form, we are going to have an input because we need to also pass as a parameter the ID value. So for that, I'll just define the type to be hidden. And then this is going to be used for the ID. So ASP4 and then ID. The next we are going to have the button, so I'll just define it as input and then I'll define the type as submit and then the value is going to be confirm, so I'm confirming to delete this actor and let us also add some classes like the btn then btn-danger to make the button red and float-right to place the button on the right of the form and you can now remove the edit from here. So I'll just remove the edit and save the changes. Now let us run the application and see if everything works as expected. So let us go to management, then go to actors and here let us try and delete the actor that we added in the previous part. So my full name, then delete. So we are in here, delete confirmation for Ervis Trupia, that is the full name. Here you have the details and then you can either go back, show all, or you can just confirm and this actor will be deleted. Now here we see that we get an error. So let us just go back to Visual Studio and add a breakpoint. So I'll just close the browser, then go to the actors controller and then just put a breakpoint in here and then run the app one more time. Then go in here to management, actors, let us delete the same actor one more time. So it has an ID of six and then click confirm. But we see that we do not reach the breakpoint. So basically the action is not being called. Now let us close the browser and go back to Visual Studio. In here, let us go to the delete C -sharp HTML file. And then in this file, when you check the form, because this is the section responsible for sending the request, we just have the action in here. So let us change the action to be ASP dash action. Now let us save the changes and run the app one more time. So actors, then delete and then confirm. Now we can see that we reach the breakpoint and then click continue. Now you can see that the actor was removed. If you want, you can also delete another one. So I'll just delete this one, then confirm the breakpoint. Let us just remove the breakpoint and click continue. And you can see that the actor five was removed successfully.